on your way down. Don't touch him, don't touch him, don't touch him, because that's illegal, I forgot. I'm sorry, we'll have it, we'll have it, we'll have it. Just look at five people I filmed. I'm glad you came today. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas Day number eight. I remember now. I actually have quite a busy day. So it's around 11.30. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and go buy that paint. And I'm honestly concerned because I don't know exactly if it's gonna be okay. Like, I feel like I'm gonna do it and hate it. But you know what? There's it's vlogmas time, we need some content. I'm gonna paint my wall. And my mom's actually gonna come over. She says she'll come over. I'm hoping that she can possibly help me because she's like a painting queen. I feel like I do a lot of my apartment stuff on my own. Like I'll build my furniture on my own. I pretty much can do everything on my own. Like I'll hang my stuff. And I get that from her because growing up, she always did her home stuff on her own. Single mom and did it all. And I just remember every time we moved, which we, we kind of moved a lot, we were able to paint our room. And that was just something that we had like a bonding experience over. And actually her and my dad, when they were together, also had that same bonding experience. They would like have beer and paint walls. And I don't know, I just love a good accent wall. I think painting is such a fun, refreshing activity to do. And having to do it with my mom is really nice. So I'm not gonna make her do it, but if she wants to, she can help me because she knows what she's doing. I have to get like the blue tape so I don't get anything on the ceiling. I have to get the actual paint, the painting supplies, so maybe like a brush and like the roller brush. And then I think that's it. I have like sheets that I got from Ikea that I didn't really like. So I'm just gonna put that on the floor and I don't need that like plastic sheet, but I typically I'll have like some sort of plastic sheet. So I'm headed off to do that first. I think I'm gonna sit in the sun for like 30 minutes first um, cause I just realized how important like natural vitamin D is. So I wanna like go do that again, but I don't wanna like tan cause I know it's about, like bad for your skin. I just wanna go sit in the sun for like probably 10, 12 minutes just to get some vitamin D and then have my mom come over, we'll paint. And then I'm gonna do, I had asked you guys on Instagram to send me your assumptions. So maybe we'll do that tonight. But other than that, nothing else going on. So welcome to the vlog. Do you guys wanna do matcha? I kinda wanna do matcha. This is like my favorite part of the day. It's fun. All right. Day number eight, lavender honey. Interesting. I'm not a fan of like essential oil in my drinks, but yeah, it just smells like lavender, which to me smells like a spa or like a bath. It feels like I'm drinking a chemical if I ever have lavender in my drinks. I had gotten a drink with my friend in Fort Lauderdale and I forgot if it's like eucalyptus. There was something in there and I just was like, I feel like I'm literally drinking an essential oil. I didn't like it. Oh, I don't like it. I can already tell. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a no. Oh God, yeah, that's, mm -mm, sorry. Okay, no matcha today. We'll give that to somebody else. Off to Home Depot we go. Got the paint. This is going to be the wall that I'm painting. The paint color that I got is called Broadway and it's by Bear. And he did a little sample here. It's like a really kind of like darker gray color. I don't know if this is gonna look good or not, but like I said, it's something to do right now. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. My mom's on the way and good news, she told me she would help me. She's such a great mother. Jingle with me, baby.
Final product, it is currently drying, and I know it looks crazy right now because it's so dark, but just be patient with me. I have a I have a vision, it's gonna look really cool. Lots of like light, like fairy lights and stuff like that, twinkly lights, like just give it a minute. I think even tomorrow we might even just finish this room up because now that I have the, the wall up, I can like decorate around it, you know? I'm gonna go through your assumptions. You don't easily let people in. Um, I feel like if I vibe with you it's like in the beginning if i vibe with you i'm very very almost like too open whereas if i don't like you or i'm too shy around you know like you don't make me feel comfortable i'm just very reserved and very quiet and really shy so yeah kinda you have a really good sense of humor i've actually been told that i'm not trying to like toot my own horn but i feel like my sense of humor is very uh it's very like i don't even know how to describe it but i'm not like hilarious i just feel like i have like kind of more goofier personality than i think i show on camera you have at least a million dollars saved up no i wish i do have a huge savings but it's not a million dollars your best friend had an impact about your desire to create a family um one of my best friends Lindsay uh had a baby in 2020 and i'm super close with her and her son um no actually i feel like me losing my dad really kind of put things into perspective and i was like i thought more about like long term and how much like family meant to me in those moments she said you don't care about being eco-conscious and prefer to be materialistic more selfish Ouch. Honestly, I do what I can, but I'm not gonna like obsess over it or make people feel guilty for not doing stuff like that. I just think everyone should have it on their mind, but I'm not like overly crazy. Like I don't use plastic straws, but if I get a straw from a place, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, you guys use plastic. Like I just, I try to do my best, but I, I think if everyone kind of does that, just like it's like in the vegan community, like some people are so crazy about veganism and I get it because I understand why they're so passionate, it's like a life. But I think if everyone kind of like maybe had plant-based meals once a day or something, like that's such an impact alone, you know? So I kind of think of it like that where I'm, like I do my part, I try where I can, but I'm not gonna sit there and like make my whole life like super controlled over that. Does that make sense? I'm just being honest, so don't come for me, please. <laughs> I mean, she kind of did. I, she called me selfish, but no worries. <laughs> You're bored with YouTube, you just miss it being a hobby. I'm not bored with it. Sometimes I do get bored with it and you guys catch me very quickly. And it's not bored, it's just like I don't have content, so I need content to get excited. Um, and when I have a lot of things going on personally, whether it's stressful or good, I like to like just live in the moment so much that it kind of is more of like a weight to have to kind of vlog around that and still be present and live those moments and i can't pick up the camera when i'm not feeling well like i just i can't but i'm not bored of it i feel like i just need to be inspired to do it so sometimes i get i don't know and i do miss it being a hobby it is kind of stressful sometimes when i think of it as a job because it's like my i literally that that's all i have so if i just quit i don't have an income you know and i think when i had it as a hobby it was so exciting and so much fun and i did it just for the content and there was no like pressure i think around like analytics at that time especially on youtube i think with that also it just puts a lot of pressure it's more like pressure i do miss the days where it was just a hobby because i feel like i was just so excited and i didn't focus on views or numbers i just focused on like making really good content and if one hit it was so exciting where now it's like i i know i Sometimes I'll post things and it's like discouraging. Anyway, you're not ready to start dating again. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You are a deeply emotional person fighting between materialistic reality and a spiritual one. Um, I've never been a material person. Like I think the only reason I am more material now is for my channel and it's more of like content based, but I'm not a material person at all. I am more spiritual. I think material is good to have, they're like, additions to happiness but it's not something that i live my life for like i'm not living to have money or buy a car or like a, a fancy house like i think there's just so much more deepness in life than material and i think a lot of people base their life around material and i just don't like that it's great don't get me wrong but it's not like life's purpose you want more friends um i have a very close group of friends and they're it's a smaller group of friends but they mean so much to me that i think that's so much more important than having like a quantity of friends like i'd rather have quality over quantity and all my people are like my people like they're my second half so it's 
I don't know, I'm very content with my friends. I wish they lived closer, but I'm not like wanting like a million friends. You were one of the cool ones in high school, absolutely not. I was very quiet and shy and I just did my homework and kept to myself. I had a best friend and it was just me and her and we just hung out all the time and high school was just like not that great of an experience for me. I had a lot of like family emotional stuff going on that school just like, I just didn't like the people at school. I feel like I just had so much more deeper stuff going on that it was hard to kind of enjoy it. I wasn't involving myself in anything. I kind of just stuck to myself. You're anxious about dating after being in such a long relationship. Oh yeah, like that was like a fear of mine. I'm like, I've been out of it for so long, you know? So it's just weird. My hair is naturally straight and blonde. No, it's actually wavy and more curly. I'm a perfectionist. I struggle with perfectionism. Yeah, I have like OCD tendencies. I've been told that by doctors too, which means I probably do struggle a little bit with it. I'm just very like type A. I've been considering going to therapy. No, I actually am okay and content right now. I think therapy is really important if you need it. I have been in therapy before, but um, right now I'm just so relying on family and friends and it's just really nice because I'm opening up a little bit more and they're helping and I'm in a really good place right now. So um, no but I wouldn't be against it if I needed it. <laughs> when you're drunk, you're that girl that tells everyone how drunk she is. No, um, but you can definitely tell I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm just such a lightweight. You put others before yourself. I don't think I do. I think I put myself first, but I also um, have, I feel like people have more of an impact on me than I do. So like somebody's actions towards me or their responses to stuff or just their presence can really affect my personality and my mood it's just it's really sad i was thinking about that the other day i'm like it's sad that it does that to me but everything that people do around me that's where my mood comes from so if i'm anxious it's because somebody's doing x y and z or if i'm like stressed it's because of somebody it's not ever because of me like i don't know i can't control my emotions i feel like other people have a very like tight grip on my emotions which is not a good thing but i don't really know how to change that i don't love my job but i do it for the money i do love my job I do. I just think it's it's tough sometimes when you go through stuff, especially when you're like so public. I just sometimes want to keep things to myself, but then you can always tell there's something in my mind. I don't want to pick up the camera. I don't want to take too many breaks because it's not fair for you guys. I don't know. I, I love my job. 100% love my job, but it's hard when there's stuff going on. I will finish vlogs this year. Yes, I say that with like question, but I'm like two days ahead. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay and I'm liking it. You dislike people who make fun of others. Yeah, I was always that person in school too to like stick up for like the weirdos or like people getting bullied. It just like hurts my stomach. It like, it makes me so sad. Like I'm not a very vocal person. I'm not a very like confrontational person, but if you're doing something that is like just bad and awful and embarrassing to people or like hurting other people, I will literally go into crazy mode like confident renee will come out i'll put you in your place your phobia of fire depends on your fear of losing control <laughs> i've just started noticing this too how bad it is because i'll record stuff and i'm like oh my god renee chill out i had a really bad experience in college i was in the shower and i had started a small fire accidentally i put a candle like underneath a plant and it went off and i was just thinking oh my god i have to run outside i'm like naked and, like all that stuff it was just like it traumatized me i think you're heartbroken about my decision of like the breakup um i feel bad saying this but no it was a long time coming and it was kind of like a whole thing in process in 2020 and then this year so i was like I struggled a lot those last two years, but um, I feel like I, I went through it so much at that time that when it happened, it was really sad, but then I'm like, okay, I'm loyal as hell. I'm very loyal, like to the point where even if I don't like you anymore or we get into like some weird thing, like you will always have a place in my heart and I will drop everything just for you. Like if I loved you at one point, I love you. Does that make sense? I'm way too nice to others, yeah. I'm getting a lot of questions about dating. If I've started, um, kinda. <sighs> I leave parties early, no. I'll like stay till the end, especially if I'm having fun. Like probably past the end. <laughs> I'm like one of those people that's like, hey, it's time to go home. I'm like, oh, okay, what time is it? <laughs> I'm a great singer, no. <laughs> no you stay away from talking politics and social issues but you're actually very opinionated i have my opinions everyone has their opinions but i'm not political at all like i really am not i think in again 2020 i think politics was just so forward and like people just had to kind of talk about it because it was 
so in our face that I got more understanding of like what's going on in that world. Um, and I kind of did get a little bit consumed and wrapped up in it to the point where I started making myself unhappy and it was just making me angry. And when you realize that those aren't the kind of people that we should be living our lives based around. I just like really am not a political person. I can understand like everyone's perspective, but there's just, it's so extreme right now that I just, it's its a lot. It's very exhausting. I'm very bossy and controlling. I am kind of bossy. I'm, I'm like an older sister. I like things done my way. I'm, I could, yes, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> you live within your means unlike other YouTubers. I do. I'm not friends with other YouTubers anymore, like Brooke and Kelly. Um, no, I just moved. I know that a lot of us are very busy, but they're all great people. I love them. And Kelly's like my favorite. <laughs> She's my favorite. Someone goes, I love you and your channel, but you do seem like a complainer and a Debbie Downer. I've been told that I was complaining a lot and I was Debbie Downer because I was just in such a dark place. I think you guys are noticing too, I'm getting out of that. And I don't think you should make people feel guilty for that because it depends all like, you have no idea where people are and you never have walked through their life or even been in their mind. You know, like mental stuff can really mess with you. And I was just really, I don't think I was depressed. I think it, like I've been really sad before. I just think I was very unhappy. I was extremely, extremely unhappy. And I'm really happy right now. If I randomly bumped into one of my subscribers, I'd get nervous. Yeah, actually, I think a lot of YouTubers are like, yeah, come say hi to me. And like, yeah, say hi to me. But it's also like weird for me because I've had people come up to me. It's really cool, actually. Like when I leave, I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. But if someone told me like, you're going to bump into a subscriber, I'm going to be like, oh my God, wait, what? I want to like give them exactly what they think I am because I think everyone has their own idea of like who you are. And you only see like a very small portion of my life. So when you see me in person, I don't ever want to like mess that up. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But I'm every time I meet one of you guys, I just feel very happy. I'm like, oh my God, that just made my whole day. I was a very different person in New York, absolutely, 100%. I'm very picky. I have a close circle of friends and I don't allow many people in. Yes, that's a better way of, of explaining, I think, the, one of the first questions we just asked. I would prefer a normal job over social media. No. Uh -uh. I would like to have another hobby or something I can work on that I wouldn't be like my happiness and financials would be fully relied on social media because social media because I think that's just a little bit unhealthy mentally to deal with, but um. I love my job, I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna probably end the vlog here. I know this is very like a uh, random vlog, but tomorrow I really think I'm gonna work on my den, which will be a really fun video and like make it all cozy and, and really cool. I'm obsessed with the wall. It turned out way better than I thought. Oh, let me read my book. Are we doing the stoic today? I think we are, hold on. Flip to a page. Reject tantalizing gifts. What does tantalizing mean? Exciting one's senses or desires, like the fragrance of fried bacon. Who would reject the flood of fortune's gifts? Anyone who has experienced how easily they can flow back. Oof. Thides, which was that little quote up there, is one of Seneca's darkest and most disturbing plays. Even 2000 years ago, it remains a classic of the revenge genre. Without spoiling it, the quote above comes from the scene in which Articus is attempting to lure his hated brother, Thyatis, into a cruel trap by offering him tempting and generous gifts. At first, Thyatis, I'm just going to say T, declines to complete bafflement of his enemy. We are typically surprised when someone turns down an expensive gift or a position of honor or success. General William T. Sherman empathetically rejected offers to run for president of the United States, saying at one point, I will not accept if nominated and will not serve if elected. If his friend Ulysses S. Grant had made such a Sherman-esque statement, as such rejections are known, Grant certainly would have preserved his own legacy from the disastrous turn of events it suffered. Despite his initial misgraving, Sidus T. is ultimately tempted and persuaded to accept fortune gifts, which turned out to be a ruse-hiding, devastating trage tragedy. Not every opportunity is fraught with danger, but the play was intended to remind us that our attraction towards what is new and shiny can lead us into serious trouble. We just had that conversation. All right, guys, I love you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>